It is precisely the experience of uh, late February and early March that led us to do what we have been doing on expanding the rescue reserve. Previously, the European Commission did not have at its disposal a rescue reserve of medical equipment, including personal protective equipment, because that was never considered by member states to be necessary, although ideas were floated to this effect already years ago. We entered the pandemic under the general impression that everybody will manage. We received signals that from the member states that they are prepared. Until end of February, one member state ran out of personal protective equipment. And even more worrying, when that member state requested assistance, no other member state responded. The European Union Civil Protection Mechanism did its part. It activated the Civil Protection Mechanism, conveyed the Italian request to all other member states at, and called for assistance. It was not forthcoming because there was general shortage of equipment. Following which, the Commission immediately proposed an implementing act to expand the rescue reserve, which until then only consisted of firefighting planes, because that was the agreement that we had from the member states. So we quickly, in two weeks, received an agreement from member states to expand, to expand this rescue so as also to include medical equipment and personal protective equipment. On 19 of March, this implementing act was published in the official journal of the EU and became uh, legal, legally in force. But that was a time, you will recall, of general shortage of equipment, not only in Europe, but worldwide. There was a worldwide competition, competition for limited supplies of the equipment. Nevertheless, millions of masks were sent to Italy. We received, as the Commission, donations from a couple of sources, and those donations we dispatched to countries that were most affected, first and foremost Italy, but also Spain, and thereafter some others. In other words, it took time for the Commission to be able to form such a reserve. Such a reserve is now in place, and it is growing, precisely in order to avoid a situation that we had at the end of February. This has to be avoided. This is the lesson that we learned. This is the lesson that everybody has to learn. But the fundamentals remain the same. National competence includes responsibility for civil protection and preparedness for crisis. Member states are responsible for that. The Commission plays a supportive role. Since we could not support sufficiently the member states, we asked to increase our, tool, uh, our tools, to increase our ability to support them, and this is now taking place, so as to avoid the situation that we faced at the end of February and early March.